Lightning strike doesn't harm the people inside a car or bus or aeroplane. Do you know why? The phenomenon of electrostatic shielding and Faraday cage given in your textbook may give you the answer. Today we are going to see these in detail. We have a lady vegetable vendor wearing sari with the tinsels. She sells vegetables in an open space during thunderstorm. In the previous class, we have seen how this Van de Graaff generator generates positive charges on its dome. Let me turn it on. Consider the spark created by this uh, Van de Graaff generator as a lightning bolt and the crackling sound as thunder. Have a close look at these tinsels. These tinsels are streaming out as the lady is quiet in a large electric field. As you see, the lightning bolt goes to my grounding rod. The lady is much prone to get electrocuted by the lightning bolt. Let me turn it off. This time, let the lady remain at the same place, but inside a closed metallic conductor, like for example, if you are inside a car or bus or aeroplane. Let me turn it on. The lightning bolt strikes the cage. Look at the tinsels attached with the cage. These tinsels are streaming out, but the tinsels attached with the lady remain undisturbed and calm. This indicates that there is no electric field inside the cage. The lady is completely safe inside the cage. This phenomena is electrostatic shielding and this cage is called Faraday cage. This is how you are safe inside a car or bus or aeroplane during lightning bolt. The metallic part of the car or bus acts as electrostatic shielding. Why electric field cannot penetrate this Faraday cage? What exactly happens? Let us see. If the electric field goes inside the metallic conductor, the free electrons in the conductor will experience a force and it will start to move against the electric field. This is totally contradictory to the electrostatic condition. If you don't want the electrons to move, the condition is simple, there should not be any electric field inside the conductor. Hence, he equal to zero. When the field approaches the conductor, Due to electrostatic induction, migration of charges takes place on the surface of the conductor. Still, the total charge in the conductor is a zero. Because of the migration, there arises an internal electric field. This internal electric field exactly matches with the external electric field and get cancelled. Hence, in an electrostatic equilibrium, the electric field inside the conductor and cavity is a zero. Will the electric field outside the cage look like this? Let's go in deep. You are aware. Work is said to be done if I move a charge Q from point A to point B against the electric field. As E is zero inside the conductor, work done W equal to Q into VA minus VB. VA minus VB is nothing but potential difference which is equal to zero as Q may not be zero. VA is equal to VB. It means the potential at A is equal to the potential at B. Inside the conductor, the potential at everywhere is same and hence the conductor must be in equipotential. How does this equipotential affect that electric field? Could anyone tell me one important property of equipotential? Yes, sir. Yes. Equipotential surface is always perpendicular to electric field. Good, Arundhati. Sit down. In order to make it true, all electric field lines must bend at outer surface so as to touch the conductor normally. Thereby it obeys gas law. Let me remind you gas law. The total electric flux through a closed surface phi E equal to closed integral E vector dot dA vector. As cos 90 is a 0, the total electric flux through a closed surface is a 0. It appears that the cage sucks all electric field. See how nature beautifully obeys all laws of physics. When real lightning bolt strikes the cage, field cannot move inside the conductor. The charges move on the outer surface of the conductor to get discharged. This is the reason why the lightning bolt doesn't harm the people inside a car or bus or aeroplane. So stay indoor while thunder roars. Sure, Faraday cage has got many applications, particularly in defense and medical fields. This is a packet radio. If I keep this packet radio inside a Faraday cage, the electromagnetic waves couldn't penetrate through the Faraday cage. Let's have a simple demonstration.
Faraday cages are used to protect the sensitive electronic gadgets. Is your classroom a Faraday cage? <laughs> Think over and tell me. Go through the assignments shared in WhatsApp group. See you in next class.